All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play UFO Defense. So I don't take breaks. You don't take breaks. The soldiers don't take break here as they try to tackle the supply ship that they just intercepted. Um, so let's uh, let's uh, go and um, try to mind control our mind control our first victim here, first muton that's just picking over the hill. Um, yeah, so no rest for the wicked, as they say. All right, that's cool. That's really nice, neat um, find. Okay, and another one. Cool, cool. Okay, so. Ah. Can I open the door? Oh, actually. If before that, one more guy on and about. Oh boy, that's not good. Not good because there's no power source available. All right. Well, it's a pretty sorry state. Oh no, okay. All right, you still have grenade. Maybe you can throw it to this guy, play some catch. Yeah, so this is a rather forested, seems like a forested area, so um, there might be some enemies still out and about on this area, this corner. So have a look, bit by bit. Because these guys are, you know, I mean, found in some places where they suspect. But it seems like they're confined to the ship. Most, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I was wrong. Yeah, so they're um, kind of sneaky. Okay. Yeah, come over here. Actually, I forgot about dropping weapons for this guy, but then uh, this guy stopped when they saw an enemy that has not been converted. There's one more guy, right? This guy can check. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get them to the supply ship. And I need to find the sniper among the wood. Where are ya? Where are ya, big guy? Oh, there, wow. Right at the corners. Didn't know that you were hiding here. Man, that guy was ready. Ready to exam some vengeance. How about here? Maybe there's some other um, mutant over in this corner on the far side of the map. Yeah, there's a guy who just came out. Okay, wow. A lot of movement, a lot of noise. So these guys are from Jasmine. Um, not the highest skilled bunch, but still were with us from the earlier part of the game. These guys can go out. Okay. Create a bit of a link here. Can we unload some of these guys? Just 
power armor guy. Okay. He can shoot. One shot. Good job. Scout. So must be. Um, I mean, scout and has a pistol, so must not have a really good firing accuracy. Still able to make some shots there. Okay, so, yeah, I think, I think there's nobody on the, I mean, I can probably check, but there's probably nobody on the corner of the map, no. Where's the other guy, other, um, hover tank? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I need to watch over... The other exit. This is the... Okay, there's one guy over here. Um, so... Yeah, going to be a target. Perfect target for this guy. Only 57 shooting. Wow, three times. Cool. Alright. Let's follow these guys now. Four guys might be able to do it. Given the condition of the ship. I think the last time we raided the supply ship, also the... The amount of soldiers I sent were also four. Okay, I'm... Um, given the amount of noises that I heard, I think... Oh, there's actually one guy that I can send up the second floor. Yeah, given the amount of noises that I heard, could be most likely they're staying on the third floor. Yeah, just stay there. Just stay there. I don't think they get damaged by the fire, although they do suffocate a bit. Okay. Yeah. But we do have the eyes on both lifts. And then um, next turn we'll be going inside. Maybe I can try something different for fun. Such as um, using the blaster launcher. All right, good job. Yeah, so I can try to get a blaster launcher going, but I don't know whether that's actually uh, efficient use of resources. Yeah, I mean, this guy is pretty poor shot, so obviously he's out. How about JX3? He's a pretty good shot. 67. Nah, not really. X11 is pretty good, sniper. I don't know why he is a. Uh, I guess he's in practicing because he has the pistol in his hand. Try to uh, get a blaster launcher going and see if you can uh, blow a hole. Uh, maybe next turn or something. You probably shoot from the, above the Avenger. Yeah. And this guy will still patrol because. Uh, you never know. I get more worried during the night, but even during the day, um, you can never be too careful. Let's create a chain. Somebody upstairs. This guy. Alright. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Cool. Nice find. These guys are going in and out. And then this is rather interesting because you can see that um, maybe 
it's not it but maybe if this was even more destroyed you can for example here you can see the first floor from the second floor because the tiles are all destroyed so this guy would have uh, been able to if i had a soldier here for example would have been able to see the soldier from the second floor and shoot down Okay. Now I think I got these guys covered. Play more or less. Wow, what was that? The reaction fire um, involving a small launcher, I think. It cannot be. It cannot be the blaster launcher. So this guy's about to come down and then try to stun the guy. All right, well, you get out and then try to instead scout for us here a bit. All right, good. Yeah, I was a bit aggressive with the movement, but kind of worn out. Yeah. Ended up doing pretty well. What about here? Can I uh, expect some more find? Maybe I'm pushing my luck too far. I, I think I should just confine these guys here and then uh, allow the other guys to come up and then plug the other areas so the soldiers might be more comfortable going up and then following them. Yeah, the thing is to block the lift so that they're confined to their level. They don't like get out of the ship or something like that behind us. I can uh, move them a bit forward. This guy will uncover the last bit of the map. Okay. Alright, so there's still some guys over at the... Over on the third floor. Going in and out of the control room. No. I think I just poisoned myself. Not on the fire, but here. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to controlling. That's it on the second floor. You can bring them down instead. Just drop from the second level. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Actually, the game actually uh, makes provision for that. It allows that kind of thing to happen, which is... Um, you know, I mean, it's a simple thing, but it makes sense and then... I'm fully in agreement with what the game is trying to do. So this game really doesn't deviate from the you know, law or rule that it set for itself from the very beginning. You don't really try to add stuff. No MSG in this gameplay. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I think we need to... Uh, travel and track these guys. I can get this guy over here, and then uh, hopefully the soldiers might be able to track them, or you know at least block their. Okay, I guess it might be a bit too far. So I need to still uh, get these guys down. Alright, let's finish some of these guys. Okay. We can probably spy them from the ground.
He's armed. Yeah, I think that guy might be armed. Oh my goodness, how did I miss this guy? Or did he? I don't think he can pick the weapons back up, but I'm surprised that this guy is around. Still was uh, active. Dangerous. I was not really being careful there. You can see the first floor. Yeah, so definitely could have targeted this guy. Dodged the bullet there. Actually, I think if you have the blaster launcher and then... Well, I mean, blaster launcher is too much. But then if you can make a hole using the heavy blaster even, then you can make this process a lot quicker by uh, letting these guys drop from the third floor even. Um, I can probably try, but then all I have right now is a pistol. Okay, so we have this guy. So let's see if I can uh, quickly uh, go around the chain. It didn't work that time, unfortunately. Anybody else? Maybe I can catch this guy. Nope, okay. Alright. Wow, okay, so they were looking away from the entrance. Maybe because they heard some noise on this part of the uh, corridor. That's why they're kind of moving toward the sound. But unbeknownst to them, this guy has legs enough to um, open the door behind them. So. Let's kind of seal their fate. Okay, let's see if I can uh, go around here and block the other way around. This room is relatively intact. Yeah, maybe I can just try it um, for experiment. go up. This guy will also help. Let's see. Yeah, there's one more guy. Um, I don't know where the sound came from. Okay, you check here. So I don't think that guy's armed. No. Alright. All the other guys, the remaining guys will Yeah, they're here. Yeah, alright. We can travel pretty far. Okay, so this guy is almost choked. I don't know why. You can see the the white bar in the HP indicator. Because they're standing in the smoke, I guess. Exposed to the smoke here. Well, I guess they're not really that affected by smoke right now. Alright, so let's have a bit of a fun here. Let's try to see if I can make a hole. Seem like I can make a hole here, just shooting up. Okay, well, with enough practice and enough patience, might be able to create a different pathway. But I don't know whether it's going to be worth it. One more shot, same shot. It's basically a taser by this point. The morale's dropping like stone. Let's see if I can make some hole once again. The experiment continues. No, I 
don't think it's proper enough to dent the alloy here. Yeah, I can just steal my control and then use Sonic abilities on these guys, but I don't know, I just feel I just want to get on with it. Okay. Some stunned alien here, stunned aliens. I can watch over these guys. Tries to run away or something. This guy too. Well, that's gonna really work. Come on. Okay. I should mind control this guy to um, just check. Okay. Yeah, I should mind control this guy to be closer. Got a shot a couple of times, I think. There it is. All right. Let's see. Make a hole. Oh, nice! I made a hole. I made a hole, everybody. Look at that. We can fly up now. Can I fly up? This guy has a flying suit. Yeah. Can I fly up? Maybe next turn. I fly up the hole. Yeah, look at that. It's revolutionary. Oh my goodness. The heavy plasma is able to make a hole. Is that it? I think that's it, but just... Yeah, I think that's it. No, it's not it. Oh, there. I don't know where he was hiding. Huh? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's move him all the way here. Oh, there's another guy. My goodness. Yeah, okay. I made a boo-boo. So excited about making a hole in the ship. But I, I'm sure that you cannot really make a hole on the outside exterior of the ship this uh, made up a tougher alloy okay I think that's it I would say that's it but then um, it's not it hopefully this is it oh goodness Okay, alright, is it it? Good. Yep, so two live aliens recovered. I don't know whether there's enough space for them. We got all this assortment of a nice um, variety of stuff that we got from the last raid on the supply ship, but still, it's a pretty, pretty penny. And here you can see uh, we got a pretty good uh, widespread of skill upgrades all for the Psionics. And um, some accuracy bonus for Victor and Frederick and all the other guys. Not to mention the TU stamina HP, the physical attributes as well. Pretty cool. Yeah, very nice. And what is this guy? Medium scar sectoid retaliation. Okay, that is a rather worrying thing. Let me see if I can uh, be ready. Um, rearming, so. Okay, wait, wait. What's an extra retaliation battleship? Uh, yeah, that's going to be a headache, but then. Uh, Complete. We can manufacture this time. I'm gonna create a heavy laser for sec sectopods. I think I have heavy laser. Let me check. Okay. Let me check whether we have heavy laser here stores. Laser pistol. I don't think we have heavy laser. Surprising. Okay. We we'll, we we'll make one. We we'll make a couple. We we'll make a uh, heavy laser. For sure. Don't think it even costs 
Ethereum, so it's um yeah, nice expensive. Thirty two thousand per unit. Making lightning. Cool. Um let's increase the engineer total. Eight days left. Cool. We might be able to use Firestorm um after all. Here Siam. Okay. I just wonder how many bases they didn't say, wow, they're just like screeching toward us. I wonder how many alien bases are around the world. I think maybe around 20 to 25. Yeah, go we'll come back. We're not really chomping at the bit to fight right now. We just want to pass the time as much as possible to that faithful July, month of July. Uh, 2000 where everything was turn the century turn the millennium the y2k bug and all those kind of things supply ship sectoid it is a new one yeah it's uh, pretty rare to see a sectoid supply ship anymore so i'm gonna go with lotus and then intercept it uh just a bit too far i think oh my goodness why not yeah let's get lotus going I was surprised they landed. Maybe there's an alien base just nearby or top of it. Could be possible. And these guys are going to be... Yeah, I think we are set because uh, I prepared these guys for the ethereals. And then I think it's going to be the same deal for the, the sectoid as well. Because they have around three, two or three sectoid leaders in the ship. And it's going to be... Uh, Pretty sticky and we oh my goodness a present wrapped up for us yeah a sectoid just in front of us i can even see him here turning it back toward us yeah so this is uh the best thing that can happen for us if we are deploying we can not only see we can not only convert this alien for example but also anybody nearby and then these guys have no problems Soldiers, okay. Alright, and I'm sure that the leaders are now going to see us. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see whether we have medikit just in case. Okay, we have some medikit guys. Yeah, so we have a lot of medikits around, so just in case when the company guys just go crazy. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. I didn't get to. I didn't see this guy, although there was a guy just nearby. Oh goodness. Can I just move once more, please? Okay, there that guy is. I didn't see this guy. Although there was a guy just north of him. Oh, more scout for us, which is good. Three or four scout from the first turn is a pretty good result. And that's also a pretty harsh angle. Boring angle there. Yeah, need to find the guy who shot us. There you go. Okay. I guess this guy wanted to shoot and scoot in the woods, but luckily the Cyanics do not care about the woods. Alright, so one more guy there. A lot of these guys outside. They're really fast too, they just got all out right after landing. Okay, so this guy has nothing. Good. Oh, yes. Burger. Victor. Good job, Victor Otteson. Alright, all these guys are pretty good. Oh, wow. Alright.
in tech ship so I need to be really careful about the power source room because you never know some crater might be hiding behind one of those corners sharp corners I missed a couple of times already oh I forgot to um I mean I erased the TU so no problems but I forgot to drop the weapons for that guy all right so three or four scotch going to be all I need and the other guys will um, come forward to be uh Targets for Jesse Burger. Okay. Getting some of these guys out. Damien. Damien Kirlov. What a name. And Alexandro Merino. Also, pretty cool name. Sometimes I get a bunch of guys that seem to be based on one particular geographic region. I got a lot of guys from uh, I think Eastern Europe once and also some guys from China. Okay, a flurry of activity. And no signing of text so far, which is pretty interesting. I don't know. Maybe they're seeing all of us, but then they don't think that they're a suitable target. Okay. Yep. All right. Don't always have to do it. Cool. Okay, and Otteson. This is your guy. Okay. Yeah, Lotus guys are the the best of the bunch in terms of Cynix. Both combined Cynix skill and strength. have a look inside the power room. I think, I suspect that there will be a possibly blast launcher towing guy. Okay, so are you ready to uh, get some of these guys out? Yeah, this guy is weak. This guy is going to get the prod or stun rod. Oh, okay, somebody got the stun rod. Maybe the launcher? Nah, I don't think that's, that's even safe. Um, uh, I guess he can get the pistol bag, I don't know. Yeah, not a good shot. Snapshot? Right. Oh, this guy. All right. Um, why don't you throw it to a uh, burger or dabbing? Oh my goodness! I have control. Wow, this is a. Uh, I think dabbing was the guy, but Kirloff. Why complimented for having a cool name? All right. Okay. Well, are you hurt? Don't think you're hurt at all. Cool, because he was actually facing the guy. Yeah. yeah the heaviest part of the armor was facing him, so luckily he survived. That was pretty um, scary, though. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see the engineer. Fortunately, not armed with the blaster launcher. 
Put heavy plasma. Okay. Looking back in anger. Ready to go. I'm not so sure whether we are ready to go. I think we should at least keep this guy out so that we can um kill off um he got he got controlled, but I guess he wasn't worse all the way though, surprisingly. He still has high morale and uh yeah, what to worry, right? We're gonna get the control right back. Maybe I should give the stun rod to that guy. But he's gonna get it anyways. Just in case and then exit. Alright. Oh boy. Yeah, he's terrible. Oh my goodness. Huh. Do I have a guy with enough to you? Yes, I do. These guys are pretty small, so I guess I miss them. Yeah. Well, he's gonna run around and do basically nothing. It's going to be a free pass for that guy. Uh, although I'm now a short one man. Okay. Can I go inside? No. Going to be just out of TU. Where did that guy go? Where did Killer go? Finally. <laughs> the first alien. I think the alien killed the first alien before even I get to do something with the mind control alien. Good job. Okay, so we killed two this time. Let's get to Cyanic. The Koba always reliable now. Nope, <laughs> I said that and then she missed her attack. Yeah, need to get to the other side here and then uh Keep the control open so they'll be able to go up to the third floor. Is it? No. Open the door for. Yeah, I think I should open the door for these guys. Ah, uh, doesn't really matter though. I can't really move inside the ship. And then I see a guy possibly on the third floor or second floor just coming down. Well, I think third floor. Yeah, alright. There you go. So, have a look over here. The same deal, possibly. Like with the mutants. I'm gonna block the... I'm gonna block the lift. Okay, finally, if there's some difficulty. Oh, this guy was armed. Okay, can I have that? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Drop everything. Oh, all right. Wow. 
birds. Pile of birds, right? Like they're shooting from... This guy also, yeah. So Deadling was the suspect from the last mission because they three also love this guy. Love to control or love to pester the guy using psionic abilities. But now we have two guys who's particularly weak. Susceptible to the psionic attacks. Maybe I can name them after the battle's over. Kirlov and Sness. And Sness. Alright, so who else can I control? Good. Alright, I think we need to further infiltrate the second floor. Yep. Okay, Jacoba, can you do this? Okay, good. He came from behind. He came from the other door to the lift. So, you can see this guy, for example. And the guy who's also there and was under our control. Alright, so just one more room to check. I don't think there's anybody here. Okay, so these guys now can go, but then the thing is, it's a bit... It's a bit sticky because of the potential to um, be affected by mind control and all the other psionic abilities. Maybe I should bring a couple of psionics. Okay, good. No reaction fire. That guy's probably rather nimble. Just on the corner of the door here. Alright, just stand in front of the door. I think that's going to be pretty good. Yep. And then uh, I'm going to keep pouring these guys in. Now this guy is going to be affected very much, so this guy is going to be out. I'm not going to even carry the thing. And I'll bring um, some cyanic. <laughs> okay, so this guy supposed to be our enemy. Um, just standing right in front of us. Yeah, just stay here. Yeah. But his morale is still pretty high, I don't know what's up with that, because if you get mind control, your morale drops too, but this guy is happy as he's ever be. <laughs> kind of funny. Alright, so let's bring Luis with you. I don't know why he's not carrying anything, but you can probably pick up the pistol here. And who else is there? Victor? I can bring Victor. Or Juicy Burger if I want to be more adventurous. You pick up? No. Oh wow. Oh, I finally panicked. Yeah, you, you can see his uh, world dropped like a stone now. Even though his bravery is 15, so he cracked under pressure. Poor guy. But going to be over pretty soon, hopefully. Alright, let's head up. Cool. I think I found the guy who was supposed to come through the back door. And the navigator was hanging around. I think the leader sent him. Leader probably never goes out the control room. Okay. Okay, so... Send Marin over there. I don't know what I'm going to do with Deadling here. Um, let 
send this guy over here to watch the entrance just in case this guys try to get out and get victory also involved pick up the weapon and follow victor or marino these two guys dumb and dumber they're not really dumb they're just kind of weak cynically That is just a smoke. Ha, ah, fooled ya. It was just a smoke. Although smoke does um, cause some irritating throat and teary eyes. And aside from that, it doesn't really do much. Yeah, I think we need to now see the inside of the control room. Get these uh, bastards. Please. Okay, that was their leader. Um, See if Charlie Holmes can uh, go up against the leader guy. Oh man, Charlie. That was a bit of a... Yeah, side could activate it. Okay, so why don't you just... Just head on and... Okay, I can't really do it. Just drop it then. Yeah, I wanted to blow this guy up. I think some of these guys even can come down. Um, but I checked the rest of the floor here. Just just in case. Okay. I think this um or even controlled. So yeah. Okay, so I think this floor is clear. Let's set up. Oops. Maybe a little feat if I able to um, get all these guys out of the ship without a soldier. But I think to make it more efficient, I probably need to uh, go there and then take the matters into these guys' hands. Then I think the threat of signing your text is over. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, it's over. I was trying to move. Okay, so we are beginning uh, clearing the ship now. Okay, nobody there. So this guy has not been converted yet, so let's convert this guy to our side and be done with it. Yeah. Hopefully uh, they get some shot of a morale booster if there's uh, some guys with the medikit nearby. Maybe they have their own medikit, I don't know. Yeah, Deling has his own medikit, so maybe they can boost each other a bit. So that guy came down. Okay, berserk, wow. Alright. Well not alright, but I'll try to help this guy. Um I guess you covered a bit, I'm not so sure. But I think it helped. I think it helped. I like to think that it helped. Get your ass out of the way. Oh, not a tiny niche, okay. It took some uh, effort. Oh, two of them, cool. Yeah, we start clearing them. Um, this is a bit too risky, so. Yeah. 
think there were a couple more guys inside there. We we um sweep the floor. Oh, okay. So apparently um the leader came back because I couldn't control the guy. Didn't see the guy. Yeah, I should have just moved up all the way up, but then I was uh, having too much fun shooting the alien in the behind. I think they're all disarmed though, so we keep these guys under control as much as possible. Yeah, there's our psionic guy. That guy is a leader. Okay, just stay right there or come back over here and then get shot. Stop pestering our poor SNES. Yep, there's the other guy. Let's get them under control. Wow, even more guys. There are five guys here. On the second floor. Go. Oh. Have a look. So we will not be affected by the signing of text anymore. Hopefully not. Okay, there's a guy who managed to escape. There's a guy who was hiding. Still panicked. I think he needs a bit more boost juice. Stimulant. I guess it doesn't really work. Kinda of panicked. Okay. Signing of text is no more. It's time for them to panic now. Right. Get them in one file. One pile. And this guy can come over here. Matthew and... Where is this guy? Oh, maybe he's in the... Oh, okay. Just straight, please. Oh, yeah, one more. Um... Okay, I guess I can do it. Just need to get some more guys. Medic Berserk and Panicked. I guess this is the Medic and Soldiers. Both of them are Soldier. Okay. Oh, one is Navigator. So there's a Medic running around that I couldn't account for last turn. Okay. So we got rid of the guys, I think. All the guys just need to search for the medic here. Hello, medic. Where are you? Mr. Medic. I guess he might be running around here. He doesn't have any weapons. Open the door. No. Oh, I think he's inside here. Yeah, just caught a glimpse of this guy. Where are you? 
Oh yeah, here you go. That's interesting. Um, no weapons. All right, so. Oh, look at that! Kirov has recovered his uh, morale like right away. He's like so happy now. It's amazing. This guy has a so optimistic outlook on life. I think. Okay, so um, can I shoot? Yeah, I know. I've shot. Alright, good job. Where was the other guy? Can we find the guy? Not so sure. Okay. This is what I was worried about. Not being able to find the not be able to find the last guy. He was using the doors. I guess it comes to a point where I need to get some of these guys out and see. From the sky and from the ground. this guy huh. oh he came out I don't know how he came out but he did try to escape well I guess um where are you where's this guy um Then it's really weird. I don't know where this guy went. Can't really travel that far. Oh, there he is. Okay, so what can I do for this guy? You know what? Uh, I control this guy and then um, see what we have here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking to stun him, perhaps. Yeah, some of these guys are just too far away. Maybe the stun medic got up and then I was able to escape. I think that's what happened. Hopefully there is enough space in the containment. You do what you do best. Do your stuff. Okay. Alright, one more turn. Good job. Okay, three live aliens recovered, one of whom we just stunned in the last turn. And yeah, so 16 aliens I think in total. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of sectoids. Only one of whom was the leader. So I'm surprised that there was only one leader found myself in some situations where there were around two or three could have been much more um, frustrating experience but yeah i mean we had pretty good amount of variety of stuff that we got back hopefully for the stats as well we got some nice amount of skills and upgrades you can see that wow so Deadly Ensness was able to get plus 10 bravery which is large amount of bravery i don't think he'll be the target now he'll be more kill love who's going to be the bait I think if you survive an attempt to control, mind control, or panic and is able to resist, then you get that plus 10 bravery. That's the only time that you can upgrade your bravery stat. So really nice showing for that guy, although he was, I think, in the end, uh, broken down. Um, so plus 6 for some of these guys, and some of these guys I think I brought insurance. They didn't get any um, skills, because I think they reached the limit. 
Although I heard that you can go up to 200. Um, I don't know how you're able to do that. I think you'd be able to just blink in the direction of these guys and then they would just blink back at you in unison. Okay, so plus 3, plus 6. Nice showing for Donald F. Um, Otteson, Victor, Burger. Okay, yeah, so everybody's uh, happy. Okay, so that was rather long. I really like to get over to July. Can I do that? Okay, let's make heavy laser. Just, just in case. Okay. Relaser Petunia complete. Keep making plasma power tank. Only one this time. I think also laser tank could be useful. Supply ship. Let's see. Let's try to track these guys to the base. Although I didn't track that. I wasn't able to track the supply ship to there. Okay. So they landed in Russia and I think this is a place where we took the sectoids. Yeah, so maybe if I go there and then start patrolling, maybe able to find the uh, find the base. Let's find the base. So general story at Kesia is complete. Um, so make more stores. You can also... Yeah. Mine shield workshop. You can also go for um, some defenses. A lot of money spent, but we have a lot of money, so... Okay, let's... Uh... Yeah. Can you not catch up to that guy? Wow, supply ship really fast, eh? Yeah. Alright. Australia. That's surprising. Kind of worrying because Australia is a council member where we have a base on. I think the aliens do have their grips on almost globally now. Everywhere in the world. Just that we are able to find an old base or two and eliminate it. Kind of put them for into their dominating plans. Okay, so what should I manufacture? Um, laser cannon to be sold or fusion bomb? Okay, no, not really. I make heavy laser tank. Two. Yeah, it's gonna be a tank manufacturing facility. Sectory medium scud. Okay. Still have this um, intercept location that we can uh, follow up on. Probably use. Yeah, it's going away from Petunia. It's heading toward Lotus, which means. Can probably track it and then intercept it. All right. Okay. I think score-wise we are doing okay. All right. So, should I do this or not? Yeah, I think I leave this to next episode, but we. To it i think we try to keep increasing our guys abilities so once again thank you so much for watching and until that time when we hit july it's going to probably happen next episode so once again thank you so much for watching please stay tuned